Stop moving, jerk face. What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my subsistence Let's Play. Last video, we got our first wolf kill. It was damn near perfect, all right? It was damn near perfect, all right? We also caught some small game, and we ate like kings. Gosh darn heck, kings! All right, today we are going to put down our BCU and start building. If you, end up, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So I'm going to show you my stuff because I've been doing a lot of farming off camera. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and make a few more planks while we're waiting. All right, and uh, you can just pause the video if you really want to get a good look at what I got here. Uh, I think I need to grab some nails, some wood. Oh, by the way, I made another canteen. Do you lose the canteen when you use it? Um, what? <laughs> It's a, it's a canteen. Where did it go? I don't think you should lose your canteen when you use it. That's kind of weird, but, um, you know, it's all right. I guess that's why it's so easy to make, but yeah, it's, it's just a little weird that you lose your canteen. But anyway, I went and made another canteen, grinded up a bunch of stuff. As you can see, I spent most of my time getting wood. Um, let's go ahead and make some more arrows as well. I did, I did catch two chickens and a rabbit. And I did eat, so I'm, uh, I'm looking okay on my my fullness. My hunger meter's looking good. Protein, fruits and vegetables. Water's, you know, getting a little low, but that's why I made the canteen. All right, and uh, I think what we're going to do now is we are going to make uh, some platform. So let's see what I want to do here. I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the BCU right here. As a matter of fact, let's just place it right now. There's no reason to wait. All right, so let's go ahead and place the BCU right there. As far as I understand, you cannot... Wait, can you move the BCU? Hmm. I was told you can't move the BCU, but I'm not sure. It says move, but it might mean the wall that it's on. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, so there's the BCU. Now when, now that the BCU is down, we get a free key for a lock chest. Uh, you know what? While I'm talking to you guys about this, why don't I go ahead and craft some stuff so we don't waste time. All right. I'm thinking two foundations. We're going to look at the wood walls. I definitely want windows. A couple windows. Uh, we should probably get a doorway as well. A doorway and probably another foundation. And a door. And then, um, well, when all that's done, I think I do need another chest. And then we will go ahead and make more wood planks. Not too much more, because we've got to feed this fire. Alright, so let's take a look at what we can make with the BCU. This is the base command unit. It's KJ48's base. This is the power. Alright, I'm getting 0 .33 power per tick. This is the overall power. It goes up to 500. Now, this is the mass, okay? I'm getting 0 .07 per tick. This is the overall mass. I can only have 100, okay? We can expand that later. We will get into it, all right? Um, the 0 .33 and the 0 .07 we get until the power, the power hits 500 and the mass hits 100. Once the power hits 500, like, I can expand this so, like... Um, next time I expand it, I'll be able to hold a thousand electricity. But once it hits 500, even if I can hold a thousand, I stop getting that free power, right? Uh, same thing with mass, except instead of 500, it's 100, okay? We can make a base light, we can make a floodlight, a wood burner. That's going to be my number one thing. Um, I need to grab, I need to get some more cloth. Ugh, I do not have enough cloth with the wood burner. That makes me slightly upset. But, um, yeah, I need to get, I definitely need to get more cloth with the wood burner. I think another thing we're going to make is, I'm not going to make stairs until I need them. I'm not quite sure I'm going to build out this base. I, I guess I'm just going to kind of build it out wherever, all right? So, oh, in the next few days, hunters will start moving into the world. There you go, guys. All right. We have almost no nails, which means we're pretty much done here. All right. I told you nails is a big deal in this game. Uh, as far as building goes, it's going to be your number one, like, issue with building. So, yeah, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in here. Uh, actually, no, we're going to take that and turn that into cordage. Uh, I'll carry the key with me in case we find a, a chest. And let's go ahead and put some of these items down now. Okay, so... There we go. Don't worry too much about where you put stuff because you can always pick it up if you need to later on. All right, which is just awesome. All right, I'm going to put this one right here, I think. Uh, door. We could probably put a door right there, honestly. Yeah, let's put this over here. My first idea is to make a 2 by 3 and, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, so this is going to be a nice window that we can look out, out upon the lake. I love it. I was going to make this a window too, but I figured I'd leave it solid and put the base command unit there. Okay, then we got this one, and we will put this one right here. Okay. 
We do have another foundation um, right in front of it, or... Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, actually... Mm, yeah. No, that's okay. Alright, but it's not going with the wood. You see right here how the wood here is going side to side? When I tried to put this down, the wood is going front to back, right? And I don't want that. I want it to go side to side. So what you want to do is, if you're going to do that, you um, you can see on the right-hand side, rotate uh, number six and four key on your you know keypad. You do that, and there we go. I see some bags. Let's go get those bags right now before they disappear. Then we'll come back and do some more building. <laughs> we don't have too much more to put down. We just have the doorway and the uh, door. And then I'd like to probably get a roof over my head. I'm trying to think about how big I want the base to be. The cool thing is, now that you can move stuff around, and I say now because I have not played this game much. I think I did about one or two videos where you could move stuff around. But now you can move stuff around at will, which is just cold games. I know you watch my videos. Um, thank you for that. God, in all the time I've been playing this game, I've been playing this game a long time. We've known each other a long time, all right? I'm telling you right now, that is the number one best thing you've ever done in this game to, for me, personally. Um, even though I know you didn't do it for me, but for my tastes, um, that was just, just loved it. Loved it. Okay, so let's come in here and let's put this bad boy down. Now, this is uh, right next to our health kit. We don't want to use our health kit. Health kit's seven, so we're going to hit six. Also, if something's too far away, you could do number two, which brings it closer to you. And you can see right there. All right. And we'll put the door in there. Very good. We now have a doorway. And, well, I guess this isn't going to be a two by three right now. But, we'll, like I said, we can move stuff. You can move the door, right? Can you move the door? Let's see. Pretty sure you can. Um, end, end, end. Page up, home down, end. So I can move this door, right? Yes, I can. Awesome. I don't want to move the door though. Escape. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and put down this uh, this other chest right here. Whoops, hit the wrong key. Mm, works for me. It might not be totally straight, but hey, I can always move it later. All right, so you're looking good. Let's um let's drop everything off and go get some more stuff. All right. Oh, by the way, I did get the cloth. So now all I need is I've got everything I need. I'll be making the wood burning stove today. That's awesome. So this will be I could actually well I could put this out, but there's not much point to, I'm gonna have to use a starter for that anyway. I shouldn't have put wood in here. I could put that out. I don't think I get any of this fuel back. So we're gonna let that burn out. The hell with it. Alright, let's just put this stuff away for now. And let's go out and find some stuff. Alright, awesome. Awesome! We're building the base, guys. Woo 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 yeah! Oh, man, I love this game so much, man. When I was grinding off camera, um, I decided I was going to put the base command unit down. All right, base command unit. Let me um, hold on to that thought. Base command unit, you see right there? I could see that anywhere on the map, so I won't get lost, right? And why, you might think, well, Cage, you know, you, were, you, were gonna keep, you weren't going to put that down for a while. Well, what happened? Well, I got lost. Uh, <laughs> when, I was, um, <laughs> when I was farming off camera, I got lost. And you ever get that feeling? Have you, how many of you have walked through the woods by yourself? Like... Pretty deep in the woods by yourself, right? Um, if anyone has, you'll know this feeling. It's almost the same feeling when you're falling. Um, when you're in the woods and you're turning around and you get to, and you realize at that moment you're lost, right? Right, guys? You know what I'm talking about. Oh man, it, it, it's the exact same feeling when you're falling. So it's, it's like that roller coaster feeling, you know? Oh, I do not like it. I don't like roller coasters either. <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly what I got. I was looking around and I'm lost, and it wasn't exactly early in the day. It wasn't super late either, but it wasn't early. I will kill a wolf today, I think. Got a decent amount of uh, 9 mil rounds. Oh, damn it. I never see those freaking rabbits until it's too late. I'm going to see if I can catch them now. Okay. Let's see if we can catch this son of a beeswax. Now, would he, would he run in a straight line? Hmm. Probably not. But if I go off to the sides, I'm just guessing where he ran. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in a straight line and and hope he ran in a straight line. All right, I'm not seeing him. They run pretty far though. Not seeing him. Okay, I might not have. Go oh, there he is. Damn it! All right, at least it didn't break. That was like high into the right, wasn't it? All right, whatever. Let's get this. Yeah, I gotta get those rabbits, man. I gotta... I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like I have it, you know? 
Sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. Most of the time I don't. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, that, that feeling when you get lost in the woods, it is the absolute worst. Um, I, I grew up in the woods until I was like, well, I don't know, probably about 18 to 20, somewhere in that area. That's when I moved out of the sticks, you know, and um, I grew up walking through the woods. I'm talking like, you know, um, I grew up on horror movies, like Friday the 13th, especially, right? And I still would walk through the woods in the middle of the night, like one o'clock in the morning, because there was like woods between me and my friend's house. And I could have took in the street, but if I took the street, it would have made the journey like an hour hour and a half and walking through the woods is probably about 20 minutes right oh man oh like it's it's exciting it's not i'm not gonna say it's not scary but it's almost like you get like a high off of it you know like um i guess that's why people like roller coasters i personally don't like roller coasters i have a i have a really bad reaction to roller coasters i um i like kind of like uh breathe out and then i can't breathe in I don't know. It's really weird, and it's not—it's not so much that the—it's not so much that the roller coasters bother me. It's the, it like it's not so much that I'm falling. I don't like being pulled down, right? Pretty weird, right? Like being pulled down is what bothers me about roller coasters. Uh, yeah, it's pretty weird. But anyway, I got lost in between videos, man, and I got that dropping feeling in my stomach, and I did not appreciate it. Uh, so I said, I, I said, you know what? It's been a few days. Let's just put down the BCB. Let's put down the BCU. That way we don't have to worry about that crap. I should probably kill this wolf. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I should hit him with the bow and then finish him off with the, uh... Fit, hit him with the bow. Ah, oh, he's level 2. Damn it. What level is this one? I'd like to hit him with the bow and finish him off with the pistol. Oh, level 3. God darn it. How are these guys leveling? They, they haven't killed me. All right. Level 2. Gosh darn it. And, no, I only have, like, two shotgun shells. I mean, I guess technically I could try and kill a wolf with a shotgun, but I want to get a few shotgun shells uh, saved up before I try one. All right. Uh, maybe I'll try this level two. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. No, you know what? I'm not starving. I'm not starving. I don't need to go home right now. I'm not going to kill a wolf early and then go home and, you know, uh, eat up a part of the day when I don't need to. That doesn't make any sense. No, we're going to wait. We're going to look for a level one. We're going to be as efficient as possible. I might kill two wolves today. We'll see. Probably not, but we'll see. I really need to start getting some protein. I found a protein bar, protein bar between videos, but they really don't give you much. Like, not much at all. Like, almost like a waste of time. <laughs> so, I, whenever I, um, when I used to play and I had, like, all my stuff built up, I would use protein bars for, for mass. Um, you throw them in the, uh, oh, sorry, guys, got to turn that off okay i would uh i would make a mass fabricator you know and you could put garbage in there stuff you don't want and um and turn it into mass and i used to do that with protein bars and i used to do that with the eggs the chickens would lay i don't know if that's still feasible we're talking like almost a year ago maybe so i got a lot of arrows man where is this small game seriously wait third i just heard a growl it sounded pretty light, though. I, I was probably just imagining it. Okay, let's uh, let's be careful here because there's a lot of there's a lot of places I can't I can't really see well. Hmm, water's gonna be an issue, huh? Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to go back a little bit earlier and uh, um, boil up that canteen, get some water in the canteen. Yeah, I don't know why you lose the canteen. I guess I understand from a, a gameplay, you know, uh, balance standpoint. Because, you know, making one canteen and never needing another one is kind of weird, right? But it's also weird to have a canteen and just have it disappear when you drink out of it. I can understand a bottle of water because, you know, plastic gets bent up and, you know, just doesn't seem as permanent. But uh, like a canteen is made out of metal, you know? I really don't think they should be disappearing after we've used them. Cold games. But, again, I understand from a, uh, uh, from a balanced standpoint. I'm going to have to be a little, a little quiet here, so let's be a little careful. Okay. Uh, level three, wolf. Level three. Why are you level three? Seriously, why are you level 3? He's been leveling up on rabbits, that's why. That's where all the small game went. These piece of crap wolves are... Oh, there's one. Oh, 
I usually like to wait until they stop. Because even though my I, I feel like I should get the hit a lot of the times when they're moving, I've I don't think I've ever hit one moving. I wonder if like there's less of a chance for you to hit them or something. I'm not really sure. But I usually just wait for them to stop. And it definitely ups my percentage. I don't feel right right now, by the way. I feel very ooh, two shotgun shells. I feel really uncomfortable. Oh, here we go. You know what? I would normally chase the chicken, but nah. Oh, really? Uh, that looked pretty good to me. Hold on, chicken. Stop running. Stop running, buddy. I should not be coming up here. There's... My wolf sense is tingling. Oh, okay. Never mind. I just hit something that was moving. Okay. Good, good, good. Now I definitely don't have to even try and kill two wolves. Honestly, I could probably kill one wolf. I could probably make it without killing any wolf, but um, you, you kind of need three or four small game to fill up your hunger meter pretty much if you're almost empty, right? So um, I do want to kill a wolf before the end of the night or get two more animals, two, two more small game animals or kill a wolf. I should get some wood, but um, I like to get wood off camera. That's why most of this stuff I did um, in between videos was get wood. So I might not get any wood today. Once we get that wood burning stove, guys, it's going to be awesome. That thing burns. I would say it, I would think it maybe burns twice as long. Like it's really, really efficient. That, that campfire sucks. Sucks. That's, that's another thing. Uh, I think we should, um, I think we should be able to burn planks. That might be pretty cool. How, what does it take? Okay, so it takes two woods to burn a plank. I think you should be able to burn planks and get two wood worth of fuel out of it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Be a way for you to condense your your um your fuel a little bit. No one, not many people would probably use it, but it's still pretty cool. That way, if you if you run out of uh, regular wood and you have some planks, it could could help you. All right, I think I'm gonna kill this wolf. Ah, level two? What the hell? The hell, brah? We get so many levels. Hacks. Hacks. That wolf right there is a big cheater. I know it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get... I might have to get a wolf. I don't know. I'm really trying to avoid it. I'd like to get him with the shotgun. And now I've got four rounds with the shotgun. I'm going to be bringing the shotgun out. Alright, let's see what level this jerk wolf is. Alright. My stamina is starting to become a problem. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and eat all of these and the protein bar. Stamina is starting to become an issue. Can't have stamina being an issue. I have to be able to run. All right, what level do you jerk face? Level two. All right, whatever. Okay, hold on. Stop moving, jerk face. That took a good amount of hit points out, didn't it? And I forgot to aim the I forgot to aim the pistol, by the way. I kind of um got a little frazzled there. I was like, wow, that arrow took it, it's not just me, right? That almost took a half of his hit points, didn't it? Like that was legit. Hmm. Might have to rethink the way I hunt. I'm gonna have to do some math. Alright. When you're talking about killing stuff in this game, what you're looking at is how much gunpowder and casings it costs. To make the bullet, okay? And um, I know the shotgun kills in one shot, but the bullet is hella expensive. And I'm telling you right now, I mean, I, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that developers, when they think about bullet damage and they're trying to balance, they balance it off based off what goes into the ammo. Because that would, that would make sense, right? All right, we're going to get you chicken. Oh, right into the bear. Crap. All right, we're going to get you rabbit. No bear behind you. Alright. Bear, get the hell away from my freaking kill. You piece of crap. I do not like bears, especially without a shotgun. Come on, bear. Get the hell out of here. Come on, go! Get out of here! He's not going to leave, is he? What a piece of crap. You're a big pile of crap, you know that? 
Ugh, go screw yourself. <laughs> Enjoy the chicken, ass. <laughs> I hate that son of a... Ugh. Probably lead him away. If I get him to uh, go on his hind legs. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? Let's play with the bear. Okay. Okay, come on. There he goes, see? He's following me. Ooh, crap. He's following me. <laughs> All this for a chicken, right? <laughs> well, why not, right? Try and do it. There was a wolf around here, too. That's what I'm, I'm kind of nervous about the wolf now. All right, the bear did not go that far. But he looks like he's still heading in that general... Oh, this freaking wolf. Can I thread the needle? Yes, I can. All right, where's that chicken? Peace out. Peace out, Yogi. Suck it. Freaking punk. Punk ass freaking bear and his wolf buddy. I hate you all. It's hunting season. Just waiting to get my shotgun. Alright, so when you're um, low on stamina and you're kind of just like waiting around for stamina to come back, the best way to go, I call it the game edge trick. You just go ahead and um, go ahead and chop at a tree. For some. By the way, anytime you see me do that and get really quiet, it's because I think I just heard an animal. Yeah, so you just go ahead and chop out a tree. For some reason, swinging your axe doesn't cost stamina. Um, let's keep it that way, cold games, please. <laughs> I don't like talking about these kind of tricks. Um, and not only in this game, but in all the games I play. Because the developers do watch, and they will fix this stuff. Yeah, run right towards the bear, you stupid rabbit. Uh, Alright, let's head back towards the base. We're not going to go to the base, but we're going to head back in the general direction. We want to be somewhat close um, for nighttime. So let's head back here. Alright. I will get a little bit of stamina back. I do want to get some wood. You know. Not too much. I find this, like, I hate chopping wood on camera. It's loud, and there's nothing to it. It's really just... Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Let's head on back here, looking around. Not see nothing. How many nails we get? Oh, we got 64 nails. That's pretty good. That is actually really, really good. Happy about that. Today's been the best day yet, by the way. All right, so let's go this way. We've got to be careful here. There's usually a bunch of animals around here. Well, not usually, but there can be. Got to be careful around this area. Uh, I kind of want to go cook the meat. Um, I don't know how long it lasts before it goes bad. I know it's, you know, it's a bit. I don't, I don't think I have to worry about it, to be honest. If it goes bad before I cook it, before nighttime, I'd be pissed. Because I killed that, I killed that wolf around noon. Maybe a little bit before noon. So, I mean, meat shouldn't go bad that quick. So, we'll see. I'm always a little paranoid about it, though. Um, so, I tend to cook meat um, as quickly as possible. Okay, what you got for me? What you got? Hmm. We didn't see a lock chest today. That sucks. I didn't see one yesterday either. I mean, yesterday wouldn't have mattered because I didn't have a key anyway, but still, a little, little bit of a bummer. All right, there's a lot of animals over there, so I'm going to go this way, if that is all right with you guys. All right, we're going to look around this corner here, search this area a little bit. I'm going to turn off my timer because it's going to go off in a minute. I always go over my timer, though. I don't know why. I don't know why I set it. <laughs> okay. Look over here, see if we got anything. Mostly looking for chests or a small game. Don't have to worry about how much small game you catch. Uh, catch as much as you can because as long as you don't um, butcher it, it you know, it'll stay forever. Okay, for now. All right, stop. Dude, he stopped right when I told him to stop. Man, I wish I had a um. I wish I had a, a, an animal pen. I would keep that rabbit. That's a good rabbit. I told him to stop. He stopped on a dime. Then took an arrow to the back. I'm not going to say knee. <laughs> I was thinking about it. And I was like, ooh, that's an old bad joke. That wasn't even a good joke when it was when it was big. 
All right, I should probably get home. It's still early to get home, but I don't know. I feel like I should go home. I don't like this area over here. This area, I always feel kind of, um, I don't know. It feels a little off to me. All right, we're going to call it a night here. Um, that's everything I got. Uh, I got like another chest and a little bit of wood uh, in between cuts. We're going to go home. We're going to set up the wood burning stove. Oh, I want that box. Oh, I want that box. That's a really good box right there. That is... Uh, oh, there's two of them. Yeah, these are the... Uh, what are these called? Crates. So, um, they're building crates. Basically, it's uh, it's where you get the nails. I forget what they're called, actually. Um, yeah, building supply crate. Yeah, okay. And there's one over there, but it looks like it's guarded by a bear. We'll have to see what that bear does. I'd really like to get that crate. It's worth playing around here. I have no stamina, though. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. We need to be hyper alert here. Kind of run in here. Grab it. See what I'm saying with the nails? Oh my god, I got no stamina. <laughs> this is not good. We should probably... Yeah, we're okay. We'll just be a little slow. So, oh, we need to get that canteen too. Fill it up with water. Yeah, let's, let's get the canteen and fill it up with water as well. Yeah, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> I should have cut out a little bit more of the uh, farming. The problem is when I'm like when I'm when I'm running around and farming, I want you guys to see the action. Uh, but what I do is normally um, when there's when I make a cut in a video, I pause the video, I turn it off, you know, I turn it back on when I'm ready. I think what I'm going to do in this game is I'm going to be silent during the parts I want cut out. That way if something interesting happens, I have it on video and I can come back easier. Uh, and I'll just have to cut it out. Basically when I'm editing, I'll see like my yeah, I can see my voice my voice line, you know, in the editing program. And when it, like, flat lines, then I know that's a whole part that I'm supposed to cut out. So. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this bad boy the wood burner. We still need the wood. We need this, and we need this. And let's go ahead and take the wood burning stove. It's going to take, uh, 450 power and 75 mass. That's a, that's a steal. It's a bargain. It's a freaking bargain. And then we're going to delete this, I think. Yeah, we're going to dismantle this. Let's go ahead and delete this. I, you know, I know I, I know I sound like a broken record, but just being able to move stuff in this game, God, like, you guys don't know. You don't know what it's like to play this game for almost a year. Actually, probably over a year without being able to move stuff. Or maybe you do. Maybe you guys have been playing this for a while. But in case you haven't, oh, good placement. Good placement. All right, let's go ahead and load that up. And I think we have some matches in here. Uh, ignition, ignite. Let's go ahead and put these on. And well, there was something else I wanted to do, but I can't remember what the hell it was. Wasn't it something out there? Hmm. I thought there was something I wanted to do out there, but I can't freaking remember. Was it something I looted? Oh, well. Probably wasn't that big of a deal. Another thing you could do with this is uh, go to render fat. And throw all your fat in there, and it'll render into biofuel. Biofuel is used later on with the generator to get you power. Oh, yeah. Canteen, let's do this. We can do this quick. I don't want to let my stuff burn, and I've, I've been known to let stuff burn. But I'm pretty sure I can come down here, get this filled up, and get back before it burns. Um, this um, really want to do this during the day, though. Let's come here. Four. Four. Nope. Four. Wait, how do we do this? You have to right-click on it, right? Fill with water. Okay. I thought you could just hit number four and have it fill with water. Eh, maybe in the future. We'll see. All right, come on, food. Please don't be burned. Don't burn me now! Come on. Come on. Get up there, you idiot. <laughs> Cage, you fool! This is going to be so great. I don't have to chop down, like, nearly as many trees to keep this thing going. Come on. Son of a bitch. Really? Wow. That was... That was a real issue. Ooh. I don't know how long that was cooked for, but... <laughs> Alright, so we got to put this up here to uh, to purify the water. We'll go ahead and eat that, and we will eat that. Do we want to eat a little bit more? Two more animals? I think we'll have them for breakfast. Why don't we have some of these animals for breakfast? I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Can you Can you guys... Guys, can we still put the blueberries into the water? Because um, back in the back in the day, before the canteen, back in the day, it was probably like a few weeks ago or a month ago. Anyway, um, back then, <laughs> what you would do is you would. Uh, can we make this? Yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a light too once I get the power and mass back. 
But anyway, back in the day when you would uh, when you would have like these water bottles, you'd be able to mix the berries with them. I'm gonna eat one. You'd be able to mix the berries with them and make like berry water, and it was better. Nah, you can't do it anymore. Damn it. All right. Eat and drink. Now that's not gonna go too far. Okay. Wait, it didn't disappear. Wait, what happened to my other one? Wow, I'm really confused. I have no idea. Guys, let me know in the comments what happened to the canteen I started with. What I'm thinking is you lose the canteen you start with because it was given to you. Maybe he gives it to you for the first day. I don't know. That doesn't make sense, but I don't know. I guess that could be the case. I, I honestly don't know. I'm, I don't know what the hell happened to my other canteen. I'm sure you guys let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take it easy.